five seconds to go. Start. I extend my good wishes to all of you on the occasion of International Women's Day, especially to the women officers gathered here. I congratulate you for your selection in this prestigious service. Indian Revenue Service will give you an opportunity to play a vital role in mobilizing resources for the government. I also welcome the two officers from Royal Bhutan Service who are present here today. You all are expected to be partners in the nation building process by ensuring effective tax administration and improved voluntary compliance. After hearing your training experiences, I understand that the induction training has enriched you all with the knowledge and skills required for performing your job efficiently and effectively. I am told that you all have diverse educational backgrounds. Though majority of you are from engineering background, the batch also includes doctors and law graduates while some of you hold degrees in humanities, agriculture and business administration. A large number of officers among you have previous work experience also. I am told that the strength of women officers in this batch is nearly 38%. This is a good number but I would like to see higher number of lady officers in future batches. Dear officer trainees, having spent many months together during training, you would have learnt a lot from each other and adopted new learnings that will help you in carrying out the challenging task of tax administration. I also compliment the National Academy of Direct Taxes for the efforts to develop requisite skills and inculcate values of discipline, integrity and accountability among the officer trainees. Once your training is over, most of you will be posted in the field and will be carrying out your statutory duties. You must remain steadfast in your duties to facilitate compliance of tax laws by the taxpayers and also contribute towards creating deterrence against tax evasion. You all are aware that the direct tax collections of the country have shown a consistently rising trend over the years. I am happy to note that over the past decade, the indirect tax collections have risen more than three times and the number of people filing income tax returns have increased to nearly two and a half times. Revenue from these collections will be used to fund the development projects in the country and ensure the well-being of citizens. Therefore, your contribution in the development of the country is going to be very important. Dear officer trainees, digitization and latest technologies have opened up new opportunities for tax administrators to bring in more efficiency into their day-to-day -day operations. Tax authorities are now leveraging new technologies such as artificial intelligence and advanced analytics to improve tax administration, reduce tax evasion and facilitate taxpayer compliance. I am told that the income tax department is using technology for collection of information with a view to increase the tax base and also for eradicating the menace of black money in the country. Hence, it is essential for each of you to make the best use of emerging technologies. Several initiatives taken by income tax department 
over the years have ushered in an era of greater transparency and efficiency i compliment the income tax department for such steps and other initiatives taken in the areas of non intrusive tax investigation methods dear officer trainees it goes without saying that citizen centric tax services boost the confidence of people in tax administration i appreciate that through many initiatives the income tax department is working towards changing the mindset of the people i urge you all to continue to work towards enhancing the trust among the citizens so that they become more tax compliant it is also important that methods of tax collection should be friendly to the tax payer you should also make efforts to highlight the initiatives being taken in the social sector especially the measures for senior citizens and divyangjan i exhort each one of you to discharge your duties in a fair and transparent manner and maintain absolute integrity throughout your career i wish each one of you a bright future and an illustrious career i congratulate you all for opting for a career that provides you an opportunity to serve the indian navy you have to play a key role in ensuring safety and security of the nation by equipping the indian navy with armament and other material resources at all times therefore you all must be feeling proud to be selected as the managers of logistics port and armament supply for the guardians of country's maritime interests dear officers each of you would have put in lot of hard work to reach this prestigious position your perseverance determination and smart study have helped you achieve your goals it is now imperative that you work with a new zeal and higher level of dedication for securing the national interest i can see few women officers in this gathering today i am happy to note that women officers are joining these services women are now entering unexplored fields and making a mark it is heartening to note that our defense forces are also encouraging more women to join and giving them new opportunities to rise in their career i am happy to know that the indian navy has opened doors of all branches of officer cadre for women and is also taking other initiatives for gender equality i am confident that the women officers present here today will inspire many more more women to join these services dear officers these days countries world over are paying greater attention than ever to their maritime goals and are expanding maritime cooperation and undertaking joint exercises with india emerging as a global power the need for supporting indian navy through efficient logistic management using the most advanced technology cannot be over emphasized both these services are vital for the smooth functioning of indian navy especially during these times of geopolitical churning i am happy to note that both these services have adapted to the evolving ecosystem of the field of maritime security i am told that the naval armament organization nao has over the time transformed itself from a maintenance and storage organization to an innovative and tech savvy organization i am also told that nao even provides hand holding to drdo and other research and development organizations regarding the indigenous weapons i am confident that 
such steps will go a long way in realizing the vision of atmanirbhar bhar the indian naval material management service officers have a major role to play in ensuring the availability of material from time to time to facilitate operational readiness of indian navy you must make effective use of latest technology to improve the service delivery system you young officers need to come up with innovative approach to make inventory management and service delivery super efficient and seamless dear officers here i would also like to highlight your responsibility towards our environment while undertaking various projects you should ensure that the projects are energy efficient eco friendly and sustainable we all are bound to give a healthy safe and happy planet to our future generations as engineers you are the ones who can actually play a huge role in ensuring this by conceiving and implementing environmentally sound initiatives in the end i extend my best wishes to all of you for a shining career and bright future thank you jai hind jai bharat stop